Hello everyone. I am Dr. Kshama Turankar Soshi and I am a practicing consultant radiologist and fetal medicine specialist at Manipal Hospitals, Kharadi, Pune. So do you all know that approximately 8-30 women cry every day due to complications related to pregnancy or childbirth. So with an objective to reduce maternal and fetal mortality, Safe Motherhood Day is observed in the month of April. So what are the six pillars of Safe Motherhood? The first and foremost is family planning, followed by antenatal, obstetric care, postnatal care, post-abortal care and prevention of STDs that is sexually transmitted diseases. Here I am going to talk to you about the imaging preventable aspects of safe motherhood. So safe motherhood practice doesn't only start with conception, it starts well before conception. So before conceiving, when a couple is uh, deciding to go ahead having a pregnancy, the first and foremost thing is one should undergo one basic screening ultrasound of abdomen. Why is that important? Because at least we'll have one baseline scan where we'll get to know about any pre-existing conditions like any gallbladder stones, any kidney stones, any structural abnormality in your reproductive organs like the uterus, ovaries or fallopian tubes. Why is that important? Because later in pregnancy, if you happen to have any pain in your abdomen and if we know that we have a report to fall back on, ki yes, this patient was at high risk of developing maybe a uretric colic, that is a stone coming down or any fibroid in the uterus which may grow later in pregnancy or any gallbladder stone. So at least we'll have something to fall back on and correlate things better and ensure a safe motherhood practice. Similarly, one should also undergo one basic sonomammography which is ultrasound of the breast. Why is that important? Again, to rule out any presence of pre-existing breast lumps or masses. Especially some conditions like the fibroadenomas which are benign breast lumps, they are known to grow in pregnancy. So if we have something to fall back on when we know the baseline measurement of that lesion, we can correlate better that whether this is growing in size or undergoing any dangerous change, which of course later will ensure safe motherhood later. Uh, now let us talk about after conception. So after conception, there are few scans which are very important, cannot be missed. The first and foremost scan is the dating scan. In this scan, uh, you get to know whether your pregnancy is in the uterus or elsewhere. It should be in the uterus. We rule out ectopic pregnancies in this scan and we do dating so that we know how to monitor this pregnancy throughout the nine months. This scan is very important because later on it avoids any confusion regarding the dating of the pregnancy. Second scan is an NT scan which is done around 11th to 14th week. This is very important scan where we get to rule out basic abnormalities in the fetus and we get to know about the blood flow to the uterus. This is the earliest one can predict your likelihood of developing preeclampsia which is a condition where you develop high blood pressure later in pregnancy or there is a risk of developing fetal growth restriction later. So detecting this at an early stage can help us start you on medications like Ecosprin which later on will ensure uneventful safe motherhood and uncomplicated pregnancy. The other scans which follow are later the anomaly scan where of course you rule out most of the structural abnormalities and but not everything can be ruled out at that stage because some anomalies are evolving anomalies. So we later conduct growth scans where we not only look for evolving anomalies but also monitor the fetus's growth, the fluid around the fetus and other parameters. So these basic scans in pregnancy, at least the dating scan, NT scan, anomaly scan and followed by growth scan as and when required are must to be practiced throughout the pregnancy to ensure safe motherhood. So with this, I would like to conclude by saying that only following these basic guidelines, getting a basic screening imaging test done, one can uh, help us identify patients at risk uh, of uh, having any complications later in pregnancy, which can be addressed much in advance and we can be more vigilant about such patients, thus ensuring safe motherhood, reducing neonatal and maternal mortality. Thank you.